Let's see which one of these is the best noise reduction software. What I have here is DxO Photo Lab 5, Topaz Denoise AI and On One no, nose, eh, no Noise AI that I'm testing and comparing against each other. Hi, it's Peter here and let's get right into the business. All of these softwares support OM1 raw files. That's why I wanted to make a comparison test and see which one works best for OM1 files. I have DxO Photo Lab 5 and Topaz Dinos AI that are my own software that I have bought. Then I have a trial version of ON1. I will have four different type of images to test these three softwares. These are the same images that I've been used before and I also had these images or some of them in my test when I was using OM Workspace and its noise AI, but that's not included this time. And then there is one image that is taken with ISO 800 and is this image of a bird. But let's start with this image. It's ISO 6400. And as I said, I've used OM1 to make these images. They all gave very good results and the difference are very small. There is only one odd thing. OM1 has very good lens profiles, but when imported to Lightroom, the lens profiles are gone. It doesn't show them. Most likely the problem is Lightroom and not OM1. But that's of course is a pity because I want to have the images in DNG and not using JPEG. On this one, I have to say that DxO PhotoLab 5 was the best one, but very, very close. There is not much difference in the images. It's a matter of taste, in my opinion. And I tend to like DxO's way of reducing noise. And of course the DxO's lens modules work and I can see the corrections in Lightroom. Then I have this image, it's 25,600 ISO and that's pretty high for a micro four thirds camera. And here again, DxO Photo Lab gave the best result. The differences aren't big, but it is to me most pleasing. And if you look at the the tiles or the or the what do you call this the, the ground part, it looks the best in DxO's deep with DxO Deep Prime compared to the others. And also the text is best on the DxO Deep Prime version. So this one also goes to DxO Photo Lab 5. I would have included DxO Pure Raw, but it does not support OM1 files yet, but it is exactly the same algorithm and same deep prime noise reduction. So this is also compatible with Pure Raw, or Pure Raw 2 actually. But let's continue with the next image. When we look at this image, the difference between these softwares is at its biggest and don't know why particularly this image in the dark looks a lot lot better when using DxO's Deep Prime compared to the two other softwares. They are not bad, but there is a clear difference. And I think the biggest difference comes from the lens modules and the way it corrects the defaults of the lens and the com or the combination of the lens and the sensor. And that's why I think this one is really, really good compared to the two others. So this one also to DxO Photo Lab 5. What about an image that is made with ISO 800? On this particular image, I think on one no noise gave the best result. I did add some sharpening to the image. It just looks a bit better than the two others, but it's a very close call with Topaz Dino's AI. And on this one, I'd say that DxO Photo Lab 5 was slightly behind these two, but this might be different if I really concentrate on doing the sharpening right on the DxO image. But on this one, when I was tweaking around, I got the best results with on one no noise with adding some sharpening. So what are, what are my final thoughts on this? Because I, I did get some different results with different ISOs and with different softwares. All these three noise reduction software give you really great results. And if this uh, improvement continues, then noise won't be any issue in the future. So we can use any amount of noise in an image or any ISO and we will get totally clean results. Of course, most likely it will be better without any noise from the sensor, but that's not the case in the future. I don't think if, if this uh, 
sensor technology will remain the same. Of course, if we get a different technology total, then it might change everything. But for now, I think using the noise reduction software, it doesn't really matter what ISO you're using. Of course, there are some other differences. If you raise up the ISO, you will lose some dynamic range. So that is something that you might want to consider. But what comes to noise, it doesn't really matter what ISO you're using. You can fix it with, with uh, these three softwares. Which one should you choose? My clear choice is DxO because I like the way it handles the images with the lens modules and everything. It gives me the best results. But I sincerely hope that you will test and make your own tests because as you saw, some of the images were a bit better when using other softwares like On One, which was a, a big surprise. And I'm, I'm really glad that these three softwares are pushing each other for better results. So if you're on a market for these type of software and you want to do some noise reduction with a with the software, download all three as a trial version and make test with your own images and then decide which one works best for your images. Because we all have a bit of different style and we photograph in a different uh, uh, situations and different conditions. And if, if you are really using a lot really high ISO, then DxO, in my opinion, is the best. But if you're not, then check out the trial versions and see for yourself. And here are some more videos about noise reduction.